What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we got some Call of Duty Black Ops 6 gameplay in the background. And I'm here to basically, you know, share my thoughts and reviews on the actual beta so far. I think it closed yesterday and I'm posting this on the 5th. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just going to have to wait until the next, you know, weekend or whenever it is to open up to everybody. And we'll see if they add anything new and all that. But so far, you know, uh, I think it's a good game. You know, my thoughts overall are positive. Uh, let's start with the, you know, the most obvious thing that they added, and that is the Omni movement. So, what I think about the Omni movement is, I think it's good. I think it pretty much changes the whole dynamic of the game. It's more aggressive, it's more, uh, you know, exchanging. Uh, it creates a lot of exchanges in terms of gunfights, and I think that, overall, if you're like a person that doesn't really like, ca you know, people camping, or like, likes to, I know, the rush of, you know, moving around a lot, then that's... That's a good thing. But yeah, it really does eliminate camping. Uh, of course, there is some, you know, there are some positions you can still stay at where you can pretty much have a good advantage over everybody. Uh, but overall, you know, it's good at breaking people. It's good at, you know, actually getting into areas. The army movement is pretty much something that you have to get used to. And it takes a bit, I'll be honest. For me personally, it, it's just the constant movement, constant need. It was, I was just not used to it. Uh, I think my hands started hurting after a while, but, you know, that's just something, you know, probably you guys that play this type of uh, Warzone boys, you know, that play this often, you know, with all that movement are probably used to. But, yeah, so Omni went solid. I like it. It's pretty funny, if anything. I've seen some clips where, like, people are, like, literally 360 in the air. So maybe it'll bring trick shotting back. We'll see. Okay, so to continue the discussion, let's move on to guns. What do I think about the guns? I think, at least for this beta, they really kind of uh, gave us one of the most OP guns, which is the PDW, the Jackal. Uh, it was pretty much one of those guns where you have to use it in order to actually, you know, uh, feel like you have a chance at beating the Jackal, if that makes sense, like beating that gun. Uh, other than that, the assault rifles and the uh, shotguns and the uh, other SMGs and other assault rifles really are pretty solid to use, you know. Uh, I think overall it's a... They were pretty balanced. I will say this. The Omni movement does kind of interfere a little bit with the shotgun. And because of that, it feels a little funky to move around with the shotgun. You might miss a couple of shots because of the actual movement mechanics. But if you get used to that, you know, I tried it a bit. I couldn't get used to it. But if you're just one of those, you know, shotgun people that, you know, nothing could stop you from aiming, then go for it. But, yeah, guns overall solid. I like them. I think they're pretty balanced, uh, except the Jackal, of course. I'm pretty sure that's going to get nerfed. But yeah. Okay, so to finally close up on this topic, we have the actual maps themselves. I think the maps overall were pretty fun to, you know, play on. Uh, sure, some were a little bit more annoying than the others. I think at the bottom of the list, like, you know, for the most annoying would be probably uh, Dialect. I think that's how you pronounce it. The train one. It's like, it's so chaotic, so, you know, crazy. And I half of the time, I don't know what's going on. There's so many grenades and, you know, a bunch of, you know, leaves and debris all over the place that it's kind of hard to see, kind of identify, you know, and stuff like that. So that, that one was probably the most annoying, but overall good. Uh, rewind, I think that one is pretty fun for objective game modes, right? It's pretty spacious. Uh, you know, you kind of have to pick off you from a distance, but also have like the side of the map where like all the actual stores are at to like have close you know, close combat fights and all that or whatnot. Uh, then we have uh, Scud. That's a satellite map. How a lot of desert. I think that one's also balanced for objective play. Uh, you know, there has a lot of openings and you're able to move around a lot. But of course, there's always openings to actually pick you off uh, from a distance. So I think it's overall pretty balanced. And then finally, we have, uh, I think it's Skyline. Yeah, that's the one I'm playing on right now. Uh, this one, it's almost on the level of dialect, you know whole lot of things going on whole lot of movement it's close combat you gotta constantly be moving uh, a lot of people forget of like the actual underground system you got you know you have a little vent that's useful like to kind of uh, loop around but overall uh, a lot of chaos going on in that one especially for domination and hardpoint uh, and yeah so yeah I think the maps overall are pretty good uh, nothing too crazy on that one honestly uh, I'm excited to see what else they bring if they add any other ones for the second open weekend. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the actual review in itself. Uh, kind of excited to see what they add, right? It's it's a lot to get used to. It's it's it has a it has its learning curves. I'll be honest, especially for people that even for people I should say even for people that are already familiar with Call of Duty, it does have a 
somewhat of a, a steep learning curve but you know once you get used to the actual movement i think overall it's just uh pretty straightforward you know just a new kind of dimension to the actual game uh but yeah i'm excited to see what they add for this open weekend if they add anything i'll probably review it too uh, i will say this actually the hvt you know twist on team deathmatch that is super annoying i feel like <laughs> it it, it well, it's hard to understand at first, and I feel like most people don't understand how that works. So, so yeah, it's kind of like TDM with bonus points. Think of it like that. Uh, HVT is when you kill somebody, you get bonus points. If you kill the HVT, you get bonus points. So, yeah, protect your HVT, and it's still TDM, so don't die, pretty much. That's the way uh, it works, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm, like, also clueless um, to how it works. Uh, but, yeah, that's it for the actual review. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, Black Ops 6, Call of Duty, you know. All that good stuff. I'm throwing just tagged in there. But yeah, that's it for the review. Overall, if I were to scale it on a 1 through 10, I'd give it a solid 8.5. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. All right, so y'all take care. I will leave you with the rest of this gameplay, and I will see you on the next one. All right, take care. Oh, my God, camping little bitch. I just want to know how to your location. We're losing Alpha. Cover is ours. Hostile shooter. Oh Break my it. fucking goodness, bro. I got pinched. Lost A. Taking Alpha. Losing B. Taking the objective. Oh my Watch God, B side, B side. Bro, I'm trying, bro. I keep catching and they keep losing it. Hostile UAV established over there. Why do you probably just be taking that shit with snipers, bro? Taking B. God, they're pushing in. Eyes on enemy. Don't make a habit out of this. Hostile assault pack destroyed. Don't fuck with the CIA. Don't be eliminated. How, dude? What the fuck? Enemy RCXD detected. Enemy UAV inbound. Yeah, oh my goodness, they're all coming through Losing bottom top. side to be. There's one above A, left side. I gotta reload. Oh my god. Losing B. Eyes on enemy. Locking down Charlie. Jesus Christ. How do you even know I was there? They have a CUAV. Or I have a CUAV on them. They're at the bottom B. Blowing trophy. 
teammate, you're just fucking staring at him. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. They're all kitchen. Locking down Charlie. They're still kitchen. Hostile scout post in your AO. Losing B. Location secure. Maintain current posture. Hold the line, Crimson. This is ours to lose. They're taking C. Bravo lost. Damn. Rooftop. A side. I mean, C side. Pushing A. One going bottom A by piano. We're losing Charlie. Oh my goodness, they're at uh, kitchen. Oh, yeah. Damn, this one uh. dude got 2,000 objectives score. Crazy boy. Who? Ghost. I got better one than that. Yeah, dude. I don't know why they keep choosing my worst one. Like, I legit got better, dude. Like there was a there was a point where I was just holding down B by myself. I legit choose my worst one.